So, welcome guys to the to round two of the F1 2020 My Team Career, and we'll be doing Bahrain, the Bahrain Grand Prix, um, round two of the season. <clears throat> and we are doing the qualifying session, obviously, first. It's going to be a fully dry weekend, which is to be expected at Bahrain. It's not usually raining at Bahrain that much, so let's uh, get this quality started. Alright, so here we are for Bahrain Grand Prix qualifying session, um, the second race of the F1 2020 career mode, my team career mode, and I've been trying to learn about this career mode because it's like a new one to me, like <coughs> managing a team and all that, so I've got to learn a bit, so maybe, maybe some, some, from some friends I'm going to learn a bit, so. Track is quiet right now, let's get out on track while it's clear. Alright, so here we are at the end of our medium lap. Um, <coughs> about to end it, so uh, let's see where, what time we did here. The, come around the last corner, DRS open. Let's see what we can do, maybe a 128. Yeah, 128.8, uh, 8.53, so... That puts us P10, I think that's the last of the running car so far. But it's to be expected because we're a minus. And we're in a car which is only faster than William, Williams at the moment. Uh, but here we are on our soft lap now. Um, going to the final corner. This is the last one of this session. So, the CRS is open. I'm going to move to the lap on this track. Went to 14th, so um, not bad. Our accelerator didn't go all the way. For some reason, the accelerator didn't go full throttle down the pit straight, so we lost a bit of time there. But I guess we could take this position. It's much better than Australia. Okay, it doesn't tell us. Okay, 16th it says on the wheel, so 16th is good. 16th is better than 19th last time, so I'll take that. And with qualifying complete, let's review our top three today. Hamilton, Bottas and Charles Leclerc. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. <coughs> so Lewis Hamilton gets pole uh, by one-tenth. Uh, Valtteri Bottas in second. Charles Leclerc in third. Sebastian Vettel fourth. Max Verstappen fifth. Alex Albon sixth. Carlos Sainz seventh. Daniel Ricciardo eighth. Esteban Ocon ninth. Landon Norris in tenth. Sergio Perez in 11th, Lance Stroll 12th, Kvyat in 13th, Raikkonen in 14th, Pierre Gasly in 15th, me in 16th, that's pretty good position, Giovinazzi in 17th, Magnussen 18th, Grosjean 19th, 
George Russell in 20th, and then Callum Eilert in 21st. So, at least he's not last, which is a positive. And then Nicholas Latifi in 22nd, last place. So, not a bad quality, but, um, yeah, that's not a bad quality at all. I'll, I'll take that. It's better than Australia. I'm going to P19, but, yeah, P16 is fine. I'll take that. We've got some more team acclaim there, so down up to 14% team acclaim. That's <coughs> so not bad. Let's see if I go to the upgrades. I wanted to upgrade this because there's a, there's a straight line in uh, Vietnam. But it says 40% failure chance. That's what makes me scared about it. I don't even know if I want to. Like, there's a 40% chance of a failure if I upgrade now. I mean, 40% is not a half, at least, but... Same thing with the, um, chassis. If I upgrade something on the chassis, it's a 40% chance of a failure. An arrow is 29% chance of a failure, so... That could be... The best upgrade. Because we are actually lacking in the front... In the, down, in the arrow there, so... Maybe that could be the best upgrade to do, see, like... It says we're in second last in the um, arrow, but the powertrain we're somewhere in the middle, like obviously where the Renault powered cars are, McLaren and Renault, so <laughs> I don't think we need to upgrade. It won't put us up a position, so I think we'll upgrade the arrow. It has the least chance of a failure, so I'll go for the I'll go for the front wing of this one. So, yeah, develop standard. Man, I'll try it. So we're going to develop that. Anyway, let's head to the race now here in Bahrain. We're here again then at a circuit famous for its stunning visuals and thrilling battles for glory. Who will take the spotlight in the Bahrain Grand Prix today? Formula One returns to the desert today on this exceptional 3.36 mile circuit. 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities. It could be a strategic race this one with Sakir notorious for eating up the rear tires. Watch out for drivers managing their rubber at some point during the Grand Prix. And I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the lowdown for today's race. Now, I want to talk to you about Valtteri Bottas. That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Leclerc, Vettel, Max Verstappen, and Albon, Sainz, Ricardo, Ocon, and Lando Norris. Perez. All right, so here we are for the race now here in Bahrain, round number two of the F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. <clears throat> and um, yeah, we had a decent race in Australia, not scoring points, so P14, but hopefully we can have a better race today here in Bahrain. Um, <coughs> so just adjusting our fuel, as is a 25 percent race, we're going to go to soft medium, as per usual. Um, but yeah, let's go, <coughs> let's start this race here in Bahrain. With the formation lap. So we're so beside an Alpha Tauri of uh, Gasly there. Um, and behind... The launch map is good, but we need to learn the gears, so go into each one when you can. We're going to need some work on the brakes, so put some energy into them and warm the tyres as well, please. In front of the Alfa Romeo, Juven Nazi, and uh, that was weird there. I actually overtook Gasly accidentally, cut him back through, and now he's dropped back, so... 
I'm gonna go over here and actually do something. That's my position, so. I'm gonna go save my Kimmy then because Gensley is just being an idiot there. I don't know why. I'm just trying to learn passing, it's not that good. It's not good. So, to get ready to start the, round, the second round of the season here in Bahrain. Lining up on the grid in 16th place. Better than last time in Australia where we were 19th. Um, we were actually on the dirty side of the grid, so um, we're going to have an interesting time, I think. Pierre yeah, Gasly lining up on the grid. And there's Callum Island. So let's start this race in Bahrain. Jeez, that was really quick off the start. Those lights went really quick. So we've got to actually a really bad one, but as we come down towards turn one, what can we do? Get down to P17 as we head to turn one. AI break very early once again. Oh, there's a lot of damage, and we've been spun. Safety car, safety car. I don't car. know what happened there, no but there's a safety car Reduce out. So pace. keep your delta number positive. A bit of madness going on in the first lap there. I don't know what the hell happened, but we've got a safety car out. One of the Renaults has gone off. What the hell's happened to one of the Renaults? I'm going to get a replay of this. So one of the Renaults has gone off somewhere. <laughs> Some, something has happened to one of the Renaults. Did, did, did one of the Renaults crash out? No? Oh no, that's just a safety car. Oh, I'm stupid. Lol. Ha! I'm really stupid. What the hell? <laughs> the safety car looks like a Renault, lol. Oh, there are a few people in the pits. Ricardo is in the pits, uh, Norris is in the pits, and Verstappen is in the pits. So they must be involved in an incident somewhere. They must be the ones who have damage um, to their wings. Because they're in the pits right now. Let's see, actually. Let's actually see their damage, like, how much damage they have. Oh yeah, no Norris does have damage. So Norris had damage to his right-hand side of the wing. And Verstappen had left-hand side wing damage. And then Norris had a complete wing off. And uh, what about Ricardo? Ricardo? Ricardo didn't have any damage. I didn't see any damage in Ricardo's car. Though, so I don't know why he's pitted, but... <laughs> I think he's just pitting for just a normal stop there. You see, he's just gone into mediums, so... But Verstappen and Norris replaced their front wings, so... Chaotic start. What is going on there? The clerk is now out. The clerk has got an engine failure on the safety car. What has gone on there? <laughs> what is going on today? Not even, not even halfway through the race. We've got two laps through the race and we've already had chaos. <laughs> we had a first corner incident involving Norris and Verstappen. <coughs> and they had to change their wings and then I got spun round. And now Charles Leclerc is out of the race, under safety car. His car is blown up. Safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tyres are up to temperature. And remember, there is no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags. <laughs> so now we are underway here in Bahrain. Um, the first racing of the, ra of the race, and um, we go, we approach the pit window, of course, in the middle of race. Up the inside of Grosjean, the AI breaking super early, and what is going on? There's the AI being really stupid right now, honestly. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but we passed Magnuson as well, so two positions gained. Use your overtake button more, it's time to utilize some of this energy. <laughs> One of the AI behind has broken their wing again, so I don't know what, they're just being stupid right now. <laughs> we are close enough to Russell, can we make the move towards turn one on the push straight? Good use overtake. And Rich gives all the power we need. Push now. And here we go. This lap. We have the slipstream on George Russell now. Down towards turn one, and we're going to go to the move to turn one. Here we go, round the outside. But no, he's defending the inside, and uh, he's Gap locked to up. Gap teammate behind is 6.7 seconds. 
but a good exit. We're going to go to the inside of Russell now into turn four, and this is the position into P11. Uh, a couple of people pitted behind. One of the Mercedes is pitted. So it looks like we're boxing this lap for the medium tires. There's going, be, there's going to be quite a lot of people in the pit, so hopefully we don't get held. Our team will stay out, sure. Yep, cool. Oh, they did change our wing. That's not what I wanted. Go, go. You'll be racing on the edge. That's actually not go, what go, I wanted, go. but whatever. I'll take it, I guess. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. <laughs> Let's go for a comeback. There's obviously the people who haven't pitted yet as well, so I think we can still get a good position here. Hopefully. We actually got ahead of uh, Isla there. Only just, so that shows how much time we lost. <laughs> I'm sure there's more people pitting, let's see. Only Stroll, okay. Leno Norris is in the effective lead, what the hell. <laughs> but yeah, only Stroll, so we're actually in... We're still in P14. Like we were before. Alright, we're catching George Russell. Very, <laughs> I think P15 is going to be our position, sadly. Front wing changes really cost us. I don't know why they changed it, but it really cost us. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Here you go, DRS available on Ross and George Ross now. This could be the this could be a move. In turn one. So he's defended quite well there actually. Got him. There we go. Round the outside. Gap turn to four. car in front is 7.3 seconds. Oh shit, there's going to be three wide, I think. No. Maybe not Ricardo. Ricardo's coming. We defended well from it. Oh, that's a bad exit. There's three laps of fuel remaining. And Ricardo shot past us. Oh, that was not intentional, but we're going to go for it anyways. Ocon's out of the session. Ocon's out of the race. That's going to give us a free position. Nice stuff. We're going to charge him to try and get P14 for the second race in a row. Okay, clear. I don't know if we're going to do it though. It's going to be kind of hard. Because Ricardo's quick. I'm wasting all my yard. Look at this. I'm barely catching him on the straight. Alright, I mean, better than our quality position still, but could have done better. But 
Next time in Vietnam, we will try and do better. P15 is. Boring race Bye. over. Take care of the car on the way in. A fantastic team effort then to secure victory here in the desert. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive and that's allowed them to take the advantage. So Lewis Hamilton has won the race. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So Hamilton is on the podium as the winner here in Bahrain with Bottas second, and Mercedes one two, and it's a Sebastian Vettel in third after Charles Leclerc had a dramatic retirement. Under safety car, he got the, he blew up. Under safety car, I mean. So Lewis Hamilton wins from Valtteri Bottas and Sebastian Vettel with a Max Verstappen in fourth, Lando Norris in fifth. So those two pitching a lap one actually helped them. <laughs> Alex Albon in P6, then Carlos Sainz in P7, Sergio Perez in P8, Kimi Raikkonen in ninth, Daniel Kvyat in tenth, Lance Stroll in eleventh, Antonio Giovinazzi in twelfth, Pierre Gasly in thirteenth, Daniel Ricciardo in fourteenth. We tried to battle with him until the last minute, but we didn't quite get there, so... <laughs> We are finishing P15. We could have done a lot better today. I'm not going to lie. We could have done a lot better. Um, but uh, I don't know why the team changed our front wing. I didn't want them to change our front wing. And I didn't think it was that bad. They would go change it. But mm. but it's all right. It's fine. It's my team career. I mean, we're going to be down here in the first few races. And then we're going to go up the field uh, going into the season. So I'm fine. This George Russell in P16, Callum Eilert in 17th, Romain Grosjean in 18th, Kevin, Kevin Magnus and Nicholas Latifi, and the DNFs were Esteban Ocon and Charles Leclerc. And now the standings, Lewis Hamilton is tied with Valtteri Bottas after Bottas won the first race and Hamilton won the second one, Vettel in third, Verstappen in fourth, Leclerc down to fifth after his retirement, Sainz in P6, Lando Norris in P7, Daniel Ricciardo in P8, Alex Albon in P9, Sergio Perez in P10, they're all tied on eight points. Then two points for Stroll, Raikkonen, and Kvyat in 11th, 12th, and 13th. Then Gasly, Giovinazzi, Mi, Ocon, Russell, Magnussen, Grosjean, Ilos, and Latifi have not scored points. Constructor standings. Mercedes are leading by 46 points for Ferrari in 2nd, Red Bull in 3rd, McLaren in 4th, Racing Point in 5th, then Renault in 6th, Alfa Romeo in 7th, Alfa Tauri in 8th, and then our team Haas and Williams have not scored points yet this season. So far. <laughs> so let's see Team Acclaim. Um, are we going to go up some? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> We're up to level three. Let's see what the cash is. No damage reductions. We did in Australia, but not in Bar. Not in Bahrain. Interesting. It's got 1.12 million dollars now. Okay, so uh, let's see activities. I'm going to do durability because we make our car more reliable and all that, so. Okay, I'll do that then. So, chassis team, chassis equipment upgrade, and durability team building, weekly resources, and running costs, and then it'll be the Vietnam Grand Prix, the third round of the season. <laughs> so, hopefully, you enjoyed today's race in Bahrain. We were a bit unlucky with how it panned out today, but considering where we started, I think, considering where we were at the first lap, I think 
that was a pretty decent result, so. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed today's Bahrain Grand Prix. It was an absolutely chaotic race. Um, we had a good battle with George Russell and Daniel Ricciardo. Um, but um, we finished in P15 because our canteen changed our wings. So hopefully you enjoyed today's race anyway, despite that. We'll see you guys next time for the Vietnam Grand Prix in Hanoi, the third round of the season. And it's a brand new track, so it's going to be very interesting. So see you guys then, and goodbye.